Uh, Philip, Fiona, thanks for talking to us today. Um, just tell us a little bit about the programme that's coming up uh, in July, and uh, I believe you've uh, you've made some interesting discoveries. We were called to this church here in Tunstall to look at a painting, which was a mystery, wasn't it? Uh, it was filthy and dark. It had been in the church since uh, the mid 1800s, but that was all that was known about it. So my job was to get up on a ladder and have a look at it. <laughs> um, which I did, uh, with a torch, a very good torch, my trusty torch, which I take with me wherever I go, which I think is here. Um, and uh, with that, one was able to see that, despite the fact it was dirty, that beneath all the grime lay something very exciting. So it's a story that has taken us uh, to Cambridge, to Venice, back here to Tunstall. We found out about the painting, more than I think we could ever have hoped we would find. And also something, some very interesting information about a former vicar here and his half-brother. Right. And the idea from the outset was always to try and find out who painted this. And I think it's fair to say that when you watch the programme, you will find that uh, we have come up with a christening name. That's great news. And how's it been working with the people from the church as well? Well, it's thanks to the people from the church that, that this story came to us. Sure. Um, and it was a mystery that they wanted us to investigate and to unravel, which we feel that we, we have certainly made a pretty good fist of that, I think. Hi, Mark and yeah. Jane, thank you for talking to us. Um, so you've had quite an interesting few months, really. Can you just tell us a wee bit about it? Jane, do you want to just yeah, say? Yes, so, uh, first of all, I'll go back five years. We had the picture taken down, um, and uh, we were thinking of selling it. We got in touch with Sotheby's and Christie's, and they were sort of interested. And this programme started, Fake or Fortune, so I got in touch with them, and they were sort of interested, but not really. And then I, so I persevered, and um, to cut a very long story short, they came back at, uh, just before Christmas, looked at the painting, and after Christmas decided it was a goer and we started filming in March here. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I've had the uh, good fortune to go down to Cambridge and see the picture forensically examined, uh, an infrared photographs taken of it, which was fascinating. So, obviously the programme's been investigating the, the painting. Were you hopeful that it might have some kind of significance, Mark? Well, uh, we're hopeful of discovering something about it, its history, how it got here, why it's in the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jane, when you started out on this investigation, did you think that the painting might have some significance, or were you hopeful that it might? I really wasn't too concerned about the value of the painting in any shape or form. I was really concerned about what it was. It was so incredibly dirty, it was hard to see what the painting was. Um, and I really wanted to get it cleaned up so that we could enjoy it in church. It's been lovely working with the people here at the church. Obviously it's thanks to, to Jane, the church warden, that this painting was brought to our attention. Um, and we met Mark, the vicar. And uh, it's been lovely to work with them. And of course it's such a beautiful church.